Hey guys, uh, it's Penel from Penel Gaming. Um, I'm going to show you guys a way to add your now playing from Spotify to your Streamlabs OBS or your uh, OBS or uh, your any streaming software that allows you to add a, a browser source to your uh, actual sources uh, to your thing. Now, a lot of people have uh made a lot of videos on youtube about how to do this with the aiden's aiden's uh playlist the how to use the alt con alt and uh minimize your actual spotify player within your actual obs and cut the window down and all that yabba yabba pull whatever it is uh on on there and there was another one um uh snippet or something like that or uh, it, 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 there's a whole bunch of them out there that that take a little bit of work to be able to do but I'm, I'm going to show you guys a fast and easy way to do it uh and it, i mean it, it is so simple that, that and, and so easy and it updates the audio and the album covers and it gives you multiple 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 widgets to be able to choose from to be able to do your your playlist and and, and broadcast it out to your stream and uh like that so first thing you, you want to do is uh do a search for uh, now playing in Google, uh, and it should come up. Do 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 do. Well, it may not. That was a fail. Uh, let me uh, do what I searched for earlier to find it. Do do. And here it is, right here. Uh, now playing. This is this is I, I don't know how many people know about this, but this this thing is freaking freaking awesome for anybody who wants to show their uh, stream what they're playing with the playing on the music uh, in the background. It, it automatically logs logs me in, but as you can see, once you get signed up and once you get lo logged in, it opens up this window here. It, it gives you. Uh, the ability to add commands to your Nightbot, your stream elements, your stream labs, uh, false bot. Uh, it, it gives the code to be able to have your bots actually announce what you're playing. Also, you don't actually have to act, actually have to have a widget, but with that, that could flood your stream with a whole bunch of text because most music plays from three to five minutes. So every three to five minutes, if you don't have a busy stream, your stream is going to be flooded with uh, text. Uh, now, what you want to do once you get in here is you want to click on Spotify here and you want to link your uh, Spotify account. Uh, you know, mine says reconnect, but I do believe mine is mine is connected, but I'll hit reconnect anyway. See, it automatically connects mine uh, there. Uh, then uh, you can go down to extensions uh, you can enable extensions. Uh, uh, there's an update. It gives you news on any updates and stuff like that. It tells you the last song played, uh, how many songs have actually been played uh, on there. And then the, the greatest thing here is the designs. This is what I think it think is awesome because it, it gives you so many different designs that you can use. Uh, it has an experimental. Uh, it shows you what the experimental looks like. You can go from default, uh, the default one, which almost looks like the Aiden Walls one design, as you can see. Uh, then you have a, a rotating design. Um, not quite sure how that one works, but... Uh, it gives you so many different designs. The one I like using is the modern because it doesn't take up that much of my uh, stream, uh, you know, view whenever I'm playing my games and stuff like that uh, on there. But to add it to your uh, OBS or Streamlabs OBS, it's going to allow you to grab a link. So when you go back to your dashboard and you go to Widget Link, this is going to give you, tells you how to do it, and then it's going to tell you which URL to use. Because if you have OBS, a newer version of OBS, there's a certain link you have to use. And if you use the older OBSs and Streamlabs and other streaming software, it gives you a link for that. You're going to copy that link, uh, and then you're going to 
bring over your software that you use for uh, streaming. Uh, create a browser source. You're going to enter that URL into the browser source. Uh, you want to make sure you name it. I'm not going to go through all these, these little steps because if you're a streamer and you use a streaming software, you know how to do this stuff already. Uh, put that in, in there. And then once you start playing Spotify, the magic happens. Boom. There you go. Look how beautiful that is. And then if you do the next song it almost updates immediately there's a little bit of lag but it, it's it's better than any other uh out there i do believe i mean I, I just i like the uh uh the different formats you can use on there but hey guys you know uh, i'll stick the link uh, uh in the description below the below the video uh, have fun guys this is the best one out there i do believe uh, I'll, I'll rate this one a 10 it's one of the best